Oh, the Pontefract Gold Cup handicap next then. It's one of the longest races of the season on the flat. Two mile, five furlongs. And it's a 0-100. The top one is Polar Twisted, Derek Hinton, Mr. Ed Graham, Clutterbuck, Warrior 1, Obi-1, Black Car, Alex Cherry, Keys, Stu Gray, and Kings, Cariosa, Darren Howes. So just six then for this. Pretty decent prize for the final week of the season. And away they go with Kings, Cariosa, just a little bit slow to go. But the rest of them got out okay, and Warrior 1 is the early leader from Mr. Ed in second. And then Keys is in third, and for some reason all of these horses are running in the wrong colours. I'm not quite sure what's happened here, you know, I'm just trying to confuse me. One minute I'm not supposed to be commentating at all, and then I get a last minute call to do the Pontefract commentaries, because Tim's not London, and they give me a race where everybody's wearing the wrong silks. So it's end of... Um, End of season antics, isn't it? Warrior One's in the lead. I'm pretty sure that that isn't Graham Clutterbuck. So I think it is Mr. Ed. Um, also, 100% certain that Keys belongs to Stu Gray and that King's Kaerosa is Darren Howes. So I really don't know what's happened here. Maybe this is that race that had a horse in it that was um, not supposed to run. And they've taken it out and it's messed all the silks up. So anyway, we'll try and work out who's who. I think that that's the case because it looks to me like Molly at surface colours are on number one and I think it was his horse that was the one that wasn't allowed in the race. Anyway, Warrior One's in the lead for whoever you are, sorry I can't remember. Mr. Ed is in second, then comes uh, Keys in third, Black Car is next, then Polar Twisted and King's Carossa is the back marker. So they've got just a little under two miles to go and the rain is tumbling down again there. And Warrior One leads from Mr. Ed second. Keys is well back in third, then Black Car Polar Twisted and King's Kairosa is the back marker. So the season then has just got about, well, it's got one day to go, hasn't it? Plus the rest of today's races. So well, most people have hit their target for what they wanted to get, or they got close to it, or better still surpassed it. And we'll be back for another go later in the year no doubt and warrior one is the leader well, mr red second keys is third black car is fourth and polar twisted and king's kairosa it's just the back marker so if anybody fancies a go commentating as you can see we've had to do some last minute substituting today and uh, you'll be seeing these races in probably no more than three hours after i'm con commentating on them so gray's busy working away like nobody's business waiting for the calls to come through so if anybody more fancies to go at commentating next season you might have your hand taken off so it's warrior one in the lead mr ed second black car is third keys is fourth then polar twisted and finally kings kairosa is the back marker no warrior one comfortable in the lead then Back in my brain trying to think who's it is and I can't. I think it may be, maybe Obi Wan would be a good guess, I think. Pretty sure Mr. Ed is Graham Clutterbuck's horse. Keys is definitely Stu Gray's. Black car. Sounds like it might be an Alex Cherry to me. And King's K. Ross is definitely a Darren Howes. It's just who's, who's polar twisted. Maybe that's um, Derek Hinton. And Molly Ed Surfer was the one who got his horse withdrawn anyway. Indian Philo racing then into the final five and a half furlongs they go and we'll get two winners in this race won't we because we'll get the winner who is the real winner and also somebody will get their colours carried to victory so they can turn their sound down and pretend it was them if they need an extra win. So Warrior One's the leader then. King is second, Mr. Ed is third, then Polar Twisted is making a forward move. Black Car is under a bit of pressure. King's Kairosa has been at the back all the time, and Warrior One is looking comfortable in the lead. Then Polar Twisted is looking the main danger in second. Mr. Ed, though, is going on the inside now. Then Keys in fourth, who stays all day. But then after that one, Black Car and King's Kairosa, but it's Warrior One then into the final two and a half furlongs being challenged by Polar Twisted, and these two are clear. And I would say it's between them now because. Mr. Ed and Keys both stay well, but have to stay awfully well to catch these two. And Warrior One's in front. Warrior One is still half a little to the good over Polar Twisted. Big gap back to Keys. Mr. Ed, Black Car, Kings, Carossa is well detached. And now Polar Twisted takes it up. 
So it's Polar Twisted inside the final four on an uphill finish. And Polar Twisted is not going to be caught now. Polar Twisted races into the final half furlong. Warrior One's got nothing left to give, running on his keys as usual. But Polar Twisted hard held takes it quite comfortably. Warrior One second, keys third, black car fourth, then Mr. N and King's Carrossa, the last one to finish. So let's have a look and see if we got it right. Polar Twisted, Derek Hinton, Warrior One. Obi Wan, Keys, Stu Gray, Black Car, Alex Cherry, and then Mr. Red Graham, close up with King's Carossa for Darren Howes, the last one to finish, so we've got them all right in the end.